Hey. hey, what's up, Dan? I think this vlog is gonna make it before yours. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about Hi. it. Hey, hey. Here's Emma and her lamp How's her shade. eye? Uh, it's, Looks good. It's do doing better. Yeah, it's this one over here. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be bothering her. Not at the moment, no. Yeah? Yeah. How was so, the ferry ride? It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. it's easy, right? Yeah. yeah. We took yeah. the crappy ferry through... Uh, really? Whatchamacallit, Change Islands? Oh, you did. And like, oh, right, because you missed the you missed the direct yeah. one. Yeah, the direct one. Yeah. Uh, it was a total but, rust bucket. It was kind of awesome. Really, ours is brand new. Uh huh. Yeah, huh. we were on the. Because yours is a smaller one, one. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So yeah. we got like cool. a tour of the Change Islands. So, what we heard is that we met a guy who's from St. John's. He's like, oh no, you take you take the direct one to here, mm -hmm. and on the way back you stop at Change because it's free on the way back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I don't know how much you have to pay. Did you have to pay extra to? Do the stop they or no? Didn't say anything about that. Um, I mean, okay. It was, what twenty eight bucks? Twenty eight for yeah. everything. So really? That doesn't seem yeah. like extra. That seems like no. That's super cheap. Yeah. Because yeah. you didn't get charged for the airstream then. Oh, okay, that works. Because we pay like thirty two because it was oh, twenty eight so per person. For it was thirty two for four people because Luca was free. Oh, okay. okay. So you guys actually paid less. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. But you have two, three <laughs> less people. But anyways, I'll yeah, let you guys get set totally. up. Yeah, we right. will uh, we'll park. Wherever then. you want to be. That's our friends Seth, Andrea, and their dog Emma. They've been in Newfoundland probably oh, an extra week, maybe two before us. So they spent a lot of time in Corner Brook and St. John's. But we were able to time this stop with them. Today's Friday. We've done nothing much all day basically we just stayed here it rained last night and it rained for a good part of this morning too but right now yeah it's a little bit of a glimmer over there and there's some darkish clouds that might rear its ugly head and dump some more rain on us but we knew that was going to happen uh as you saw earlier our friend seth and dre are here Seth has got his own YouTube channel. You guys should go check that out. I'll link it below. They've been traveling for, I want to say, two, three years. We uh, first ran into them in Joshua Tree. We were in Joshua Tree Dry Lake Bay with them at the same time, but we didn't know who they were. I don't think they know who we were. In the dry lake bed, it just goes out for a few miles in every direction. We were kind of in the middle. And we saw this other airstream on the other side. We were there with our friends Josh and Jessa, who no longer uh, travel in their airstream full time. So, Joshua Tree Dry Lake, but is also known for having like these really crazy windstorms. So we were in the same windstorm together. They were just on the other side. We finally met them in person about a year later. And since then, we run into them two other times. So, we knew they were going to be here in the Maritimes in Atlanta, Canada. And finally, we got to meet up here with them in Fogo Island. And probably stay together for a few days here. And we'll go to St. John's. They're going to go the other direction. And then we're going to meet up again. And I think the current plan is to uh, drive the Trans Labrador Highway together. But that still might change. We'll see. We've got to learn a bit more about what the road is like to decide whether or not we want to do it. Because Seth was just saying how the Trans Labrador Highway uses what they call grade grade B gravel. That can be sharper than the usual grade A gravel. And if that's the case, people's tires are more prone to get punctures. So if we can get a look at what the grade B gravel looks like then we can make a better assessment on whether or not we want to chance it. So this campground we're at, it's called Brimstone. It's basically the Lions Club. That's the clubhouse right there. That's the Lions Club of Fogo, I guess, the village of Fogo. There's not that many people in this town, but they have a Lions Club. And the Lions Club basically has the primo campground on this entire island. They are also having a party there tonight, which I think we're all going to go. Basically, tonight is some kind of a fundraiser. The guy that came around and collected money yesterday, 
uh, it was a man, an older gentleman, and a woman that drive around in a minivan every day and checking on people, making sure everybody's paying. And he also comes by and like splits firewood, I think. He uh, is doing a fundraiser, I think, for his brother who just had a kidney transplant. And tonight there's going to be live music, dancing, and a bar. Uh, we're not exactly sure what the bar situation is about. Um, you may have heard from some comments we've made in other videos that alcohol is pretty expensive here. I don't know if they're going to be selling like $6 beers at this bar for fundraiser or not. But what we know for sure is that because it's a fundraiser, we're not going to get anything for free here tonight. But we are looking forward to the live music. Live local music, they say. And I'm hoping that it's like Newfoundland local music and not some kid and his buddies playing covers. But I don't know. We'll see. Either way, it's going to be pretty awesome. Finland honky tonk. Man, there must have been 150, 200 people in there. Pretty cool though. <clears throat> it was for this guy whose brother just had a kidney transplant, doing a little fundraiser for him. And it appears that the whole town came out to help out. Good for him. I hope everything went well with his recovery. I don't know his name, but. My best wishes to you.